Alright guys, so here we are day two. I got my Shine Master 5500 or M550 I should say. Whoop. And today I put on my little six inch backing plate and I've got a little six inch wool pad. And I have to say, this is a game changer. Got oxidized, dull, and then Shine Master, shiny. So, just testing this tool out on this, and it's working very well. Me likey. So today was day two of trying out the new Shine Master 550 mini rotary polisher. And I have to say today, I was very encouraged by what I found. Using the six inch backing plate and the six inch mini wool pad uh, to do a sailboat detail we're on, just really cut down on my time, cut down on my strain. I still do have the concern about the always on or always off switch versus a trigger. That's definitely something to get used to and be very careful of. I can see the cord getting caught in the machine and basically getting electrocuted or getting it tangled up in a line or a cleat on a boat and creating a big problem so that's an area of just getting used to and figuring out but as far as being able to use the machine and it being effective and efficient and very fast and easy to use um, very happy with it I can't say enough good things about that I do have a little bit of an issue with the heat of the machine um, I'm basically using it one-handed a lot of times and where I want to put my hand to be able to be on the switch is right in front of where the cooling vent is for the motor. So it gets very hot and it's basically burning my hand. So that's an issue. Um, being able to put my hand back a little bit further on the barrel, but then kind of being out of range for the on off switch is where it's most comfortable to use. Hey guys, lastly, I just wanted to say a big thank you and shout out to Ultimate Shine, who is the person who actually mentioned this company's brand to me. All right, so today I got a chance to play around with that a little bit. And as I thought, that switch being always on or always off definitely is an issue. But being able to have the wool pad, a six inch backing plate and six inch wool pad on this machine is definitely a game changer. Today I was working on a sailboat like you saw in the first part of the video here. And being able to do like the cockpit area with this tool and setup was so much faster than using a standard rotary and so much more flexible and just easier to use. Um, I also did across the top side of the sailboat where there's kind of a large curved surface along the front side um, basically the side of the house, I guess you'd call it, with this tool um, went so fast, so smooth, and was so much easier to use with our mix and that um, pad setup. Uh, it's definitely a game changer. I'm buying another one of these tonight when I get in. And uh, if you're doing boats in particular, I would say check this out. I did run into the issue one time where I actually did um, have it stuck on and kind of ran into something that was a bit of a problem but I just backed off right away and shut it down so be careful when using it it's not the same as having a trigger